Breaking news, Albany Mayor Kathy Sheehan has announced the next steps to preserve the time capsule found under the site of the former Philip Schuyler statue. Sabrina Dami was the only reporter there on Saturday as crews removed the statue that stood in front of City Hall for nearly 100 years. She joins us live now from downtown Albany. Good afternoon, Sabrina. Good afternoon, Faith. The just update coming just a few minutes ago right inside City Hall where things are wrapping up right now when the mayor announced, as you heard live at the beginning of the show today, that uh, all of the items found in the time capsule will be going to the Albany Institute of History and Art where it will be cataloged, properly examined, and then a final determination for where it will go will be uh, made after that. It may very well just stay at that spot, but we're standing over here because we're expecting the bins of items to come out out that door shortly and into a car to be transported to the Albany Institute of History and Art. But take a look at the video we shot a short time ago showing some of those items, including um, a flag with 48 stars. Remember, this was 98 years ago. An atlas from 1876, a full color copy atlas, uh, some coins, a lot of books, a lot of letters, including a deed and we showed this to you first on 13 on social media i tweeted it out put it on, um, put it on facebook this morning as well i think we have a copy of that this is the deed that was found inside the time capsule the bronze box and it was put in there by george hawley the man who gifted the statue the philip schuyler statue to the city in 1925 that deed is essentially an instruction sheet determine, determining um who's responsible for where all of the contents eventually end up and the deed specifically names the mayor at the time calling the mayor a man this was 98 years ago saying the mayor is the person in charge of uh, where that deed where all these items should go so take a listen mayor Kathy Sheehan reading a portion of that a short time ago Box and its contents are hereby given to the mayor or chief executive officer of the city of Albany New York to be placed by him, how cute, in the custody of a historical society of the city of Albany, which in his judgment shall be best fitted to use and preserve the same. So back here live outside City Hall, we uh, took a few steps over to show you the now construction site behind us. This is where the statue stood up until Saturday morning, where we brought you that exclusive live coverage of it coming down. And let's bring your attention back this way to the front of City Hall. Those bins are now coming out containing the items inside the time capsule. DGS workers with the city of Albany who worked so hard Saturday morning for hours, carefully working on the base of uh, the statue to pull out the items um, and not damage anything. They are loading up this uh, black SUV right in front of City Hall, right in front of the circle where the statue once stood. And this will now go by police escort over to the Albany Institute of History and Art. An interesting fact, the statue was dedicated on June 14th in 1925, exactly 98 years ago yesterday, today being June 15th. The timing of it, the mayor says, purely a coincidence as they started this process, as we noted, um, three years ago in uh, 2020. So right now you're watching a, a live picture of all of those items found inside that time capsule being loaded inside this SUV and by police escort. It will travel to the Albany Institute of History and Art, where it'll be cataloged, carefully examined, and then eventually be open for the public to see. The mayor says that the fact that there was a deed inside of there, that deed that you heard her reading a short time ago, indicates that there was anticipation of this opening up at some point, that someone will discover this time capsule, that the statue would eventually be moved. So there's Mayor Kathy Sheehan, you can see standing uh, next to the SUV about to get inside. DGS workers, uh, a job well done. And there are the police escort, motorcycles and a car getting ready as we will uh, stay with you as this SUV departs. And talk about the next steps now, because as these items move to their next home, what is the next home for the Philip Schuyler statue? And that will be determined by a monuments commission that the mayor is still um, in the process of putting together, appointing members of that commission. And there the SUV goes, driving around the circle where the statue once stood, where the items were once buried for 98 years, traveling up Washington Avenue, past the New York State Capitol.
So we will wrap our, our coverage here for you uh, live at noon, and we'll bring you much more from this press conference starting live at 4. Faith, we'll send it back to you. Okay, Sabrina, thank you. A historical week and a historical day in the city of Albany.